So today we climbed a bolted route that had some old bolts that needed some help. And so we went to the top, fixed a rope so that it was static, it didn't move up and down. I'll pull out the drill, I'll drill the hole. Um, I have a little blow tube and I'll blow it out, put the hanger on a nice bolt and pound it in, snug it down. And I'll make sure that when you hang that on and you clip the rope to it, it's in a good spot. The carabiners aren't gonna run over something sharp. They're not gonna get broken. So the bolts are designed to be uh, recessed into the rock a little bit. So I have to drill, I drill my initial hole to put the bolt in and then I have to drill some sleeves. The bolts that we use are rated to 8,000, 9,000 pounds. They're really solid. A lot of times the stuff we put in is stronger than the rock. You know, having, having good high quality equipment is, is most important. I was first exposed to Hilti when I got my first drill. It was a Hilti TE-10. I got tons of use out of it. It lasts me for, for years and years and years and just keeps on ticking. What I've really found is that it's just one of the most well-built drills I've ever used. You can just feel the quality in your hand and you can just feel that it really um, uses the power in a really good way. I take a lot of pride in every single bolt I place and uh, if it takes me more time, that's fine. That bolt's gonna be in there for 100, 200 years and I wanna make sure that it's good and nobody ever questions it. To look up and see this like nice route, everything's well camouflaged and the hardware's great, it's kind of a gift you're giving back to the climbing community. They spend a lot of time here um, and we just get to appreciate it and use it. There's very few people in the world that um, would do that for free.